Howdy folks, it is your good friend Mr. Nasty Clamps with yet another video for you. This one is not nasty, it's, uh, it's actually in good taste, it's healthy, it's good for you. Let me explain why. Uh, a few months back I did a video entitled Airports, Barf Bags and Strobes, you may remember it. And I talked about how when you go through an airport and you get on an airplane, you can, uh, you can get the barf bag, and you can combine it with one of your strobes, and a nasty clamp and turn it into an actually a very cool little lighting instrument. Now the other thing I talked about in the video was how when I travel I always take oatmeal with me. I always take dry oatmeal with me and then when I'm on the airplane I, uh, I eat it there. A lot better than eating the food that they're serving. A bunch of you actually ended up writing to me and saying, okay, what's your recipe? How do you make your oatmeal? I'm going to tell you. First of all, you're going to get a plastic container. You can use anything like Tupperware, old yogurt container, whatever. Uh, just something that's sealable and relatively heat resistant. You're also going to want to get oatmeal. Myself, I like the thick cut organic oats. And I use about, mm, about half a cup. So you can put that, hang on. You can put that in your container. Half a cup of oatmeal. Next, you're going to get some dried fruit. I like dried cranberries, but anything works. You can use dried apples, dried cherries, raisins, doesn't really matter. And uh, I'm not sure on the exact amount, but basically enough to fill your hands sort of like that. That also goes in the container. A little bit of brown sugar. How much? I don't know, probably about a tablespoon or so. I never really measure that much stuff out. About that much brown sugar. About that much brown sugar into the container. You also want cinnamon. About half a tablespoon, maybe a, te maybe a tablespoon if you really like it cinnamony. But, um, there, that is gonna be good and cinnamony. cinnamony. And my secret ingredient is I also add a little bit of allspice, just a little bit. Uh, two last things that I add, one of them's optional. I get some chopped nuts. Uh, a lot of people like walnuts or pecans. I like, uh, I like chopped toasted uh, pumpkin seeds. They're healthy for you. They're packed full of protein. They taste fantastic. And then something that's optional, you don't have to do it. I add a little bit of whey protein. I'm uh, kind of a protein fanatic. And I add just a little bit, just about a half a scoop there. Helps thicken up the oatmeal um, and even adds a little bit of texture to it, a little bit of taste. A lot of people don't like uh, whey protein though, so it's, it's kind of your option. Seal it up. Shake it up. You're good to go. Uh, you can take this on an airplane, you can take this to work, whatever. Here's how you turn it into real oatmeal though. You're going to get hot water. This is hot water, and you're going to pour it in here. And what you want to do is add enough water that the dried oatmeal is covered with about a quarter inch of water or so. And then you seal it up, and then you're going to walk away. Walk away for about 15 or 20 minutes. When you come back, all that hot water is going to combine with the oatmeal. Everything's going to get reconstituted. The dried fruit's going to plump up. It is going to taste fantastic, and in fact, it is going to be the best oatmeal you have ever had. I guarantee it. So, there you go. Dried oatmeal, cinnamon, allspice, some dried fruit, a little bit of brown sugar. Oh, we're all out of chopped nuts. And uh, if you like a little bit of extra protein, a little bit of whey powder. That's all you need for the best oatmeal you will ever have in your life. Stay nasty and uh, stay healthy. See you later.